Hey, welcome back, everybody. Look at this. It's stature? I think that's a stature? Yeah, I think that's what that's saying there. Costs one if your opponent discarded a card from their hand this game. Oh my goodness, it's a full counter to, to a discard deck. Wow, they actually are putting out legitimate counter cards to discard now. That's incredible. That's exactly what the game needed. Although you could just weaken discard, but... Wow, stature. I'm gonna look her up here. Marvel stature. I can't show you this stuff, though. It's like, who gonna show copyrighted Marvel pictures? Here she is, Cassandra Lang. That name's familiar. Interesting. Oh, Lang. Is she a... Ant-Man? I think she is. Yeah, Scott Lang. That's her father. Oh, wow. She's her... She's, uh... Ant-Man's daughter all grown up. That's who Stature is. That's super cool. Ant-Girl. Yeah, she's known as Ant-Girl girl as well. They call her Stature in this. Oh, and also Stinger. Also known as Giant-Girl. Wow, what a freaking awesome card. <laughs> way too pricey for me now, but eventually this will go down into Series 3 and be way cheaper. That is a phenomenal must-have card if you're fi if you know you're fighting tons of discard people. A one cost seven is just phenomenal. Absolutely insanely powerful. That is great. That is a really neat addition to the game. Like wow, that probably came out in the Ant-Man series, I assume, and now it's entered series five with this new season coming out. Because they always do that. The pay ones go down to season ones, season five ones. Okay, I've almost upgraded everything. I still have tons of points, but I didn't see other mutants in there, so... Oh, I do really like spider Woman. such a... Oh, Rhino is so awesome, too. Okay, Rhino had only 150, I think it's worth it. Slightly inefficient, but I'm not going to play him anyway, so I mean, that's literally the point of this. I do really like him as a character. He's freaking hilarious. You know, from the show. Ooh, it, I do almost get a reserve. Ooh, it does give me a reserve. If I have spider Woman. Let's see if my other people are close to leveling. Let's see what that actually is going to bring efficiency-wise. That he is miles away. So we'll see. She's like halfway. Uh, she's away. She's almost there. I just need Domino to level up. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to spend because Domino's about to go up. Which should also give me that. Oh, so is freaking White Queen. Double Frost. Oh my goodness, Magic's about to go... Yeah, double rainbow. That is freaking awesome. Oh, and Professor X is also about to level up. Anyway, that's just like... I'll just, I don't always show that, but I'll just show it this time. So that's just the, the, how I freaking economize my credits. Just in case someone wondered. Just so I always have enough to... I've never not been able to upgrade one of my main card decks, and that's why, because I don't overspend... Because just technically, this is inefficient. You actually lose credit value doing this. It's actually the most efficient to actually play the cards and level them up for credits. That's why I've never had to buy any. Although I do only play the game for dailies. If I played the game more than that, I would run out of credits. But the game is perfectly economized to just play the dailies. And the free currency they give out. It's really awesome. You'll actually get a net, get a net game. Gain. You'll actually get a net gain, so I have upgraded that. Just why you'll see me occasionally do that. Only it's first to fill. I have a great deck for first to fill wrath. Oh, I didn't look closely at the dailies, but it's fine. Like, <laughs> those just accomplish. <laughs> like, one match not looking at them is completely fine. What are the odds? Ooh, I can actually throw in... Oh, I guess I can throw in stuff like an early Jubilee here to fill. Oh, that's so good. It gives him no chance. That's so good. Now, the problem is he may still win this zone, because I am about to fill it. But a free six is generally always... After you play a card, you add a copy to your opponent's hand. Ooh. An early Jubilee is not great. It's technically the worst chance luck for her. But she could bring down Professor X and just win it for me, so I'm gonna do it. Come on, Professor X. Oh, it's magic. No, that just removed the ability. That was the worst thing it could have. Oh, no, it still worked. Oh my goodness, no, magic was phenomenal. 
Now I can see the most time. I just got freaking Thanos. The buffed up Thanos. He used to be 8 power, now he's 11. I haven't even seen this yet. That's that screenshot right there. Freaking Thanos. Now I won't have the Infinity Stones. But there, there wouldn't be time for me to deploy that anyway. Dang, gambiting him would well, might not be bad actually here. On turn 6 you can move cars to this location. Oh my goodness. He's not going to expect me to bolster the left. On turn 6 I could actually do that because New York is here. That's pretty freaking huge. Now do I want to drop Thanos yet? Nah, Thanos will do final turn. Because yeah, doing Machine World final turn won't give them any bonus. So yeah. Let's just do Emma for now. Let's see what his 6 cost is. Let's hold on to the trump card. Because he's zero cost. So I can just hold on to him. Oh, there he is. He used Hellcow. He may think he won that region now. Whoa, he has a really cool Colleen Wing. Or Wong, I mean. Colleen Wong. Wow, that's incredible. Wait, I stole his Swordmaster? Just got a card from your hand. I might actually be able to play his Swordmaster. But I, no, no, no. That's too risky. I could lose Thanos. The game is also too risky. Is there any power I could steal? I could give him Rogue. I wouldn't even care if he had Rogue. Rogue doesn't even hurt me either. Dang, I didn't get a great cast here. Do I risk Swordmaster? A Gambit? No, I can just do Rogue and Domino. That's probably cards that won't even help him. Oh dang, he is still bolstering it. No, he's no, he's no silly person. He's still bolstering it, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. Yeah, I forced him to go hard there. Yeah, he's going to snap. But check this out. I can just move little jube jubes to here. Put Giganto here. Put Thanos here. Yeah. I'm snapping that. Wait, actually, there's still one more turn in the game. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I don't want to do that. I want to actually wait on Thanos. This is turn six. Yeah, I have to do this now. I'm going to wait on Thanos. Dang, that gives him a chance to counter. Perks, that gives him a chance to counter. Oh, no. I still have to do it, though. I still have to do it. I can still make Nito and Thanos two zones to bolster both through insane power. This just pressures him on, on two huge zones. Turn seven didn't really help me, but I didn't want her there. Yeah, now this is locked. He's forced to play here. Does 11 win here? It sure as heck does with Iceman. 1921 plus Magneto here, which also might pull and win it. Oh yeah, this is freaking epic. The Mad Titan himself is about to make his appearance. Thanos! Oh yeah, and I can pull his dudes away to here. <laughs> well done, Magneto! Oh, he did still beat him. He used American Chavez and Apocalypse to beat down my Thanos. White Queen Jubilee and Iceman. But I just wrecked him in the other two zones. Wow. The buffed up Thanos was still technically too weak to win, but that's fine because he had turns to buff up Sunspot. At least Thanos feels like he's bringing some freaking power now when you play him. He's almost as strong as Hulk, just without the Infinity Stones at all. Yeah, with them, he's just going to be crazy strong. Um... That was awesome. I just divide and conquered him. But that's that's ah, that's why I don't want to remove Quicksilver. And Domino. Luckily I didn't need them. I could use Psylocke. But yeah, that was huge. That was just Psylocke Power Man. Psylocke is just phenomenal. Well done, Jubilee. Well done. She got the XP for it too. Well deserved. Well, I kind of wish we'll go to Psylocke. I don't know why I stopped pairing up Psylocke. <laughs> She's the, like one card that isn't rainbow. I believe at 6,000 I'll have enough to get anything that I've seen pop up for, I think, for um, gold. I've only ever bought that, that um, which was free currency. Um, I've only ever gotten the Jubilee. Is this something could just... Oh, is the Jubilee that earned the upgrade? I'm not going to upgrade this. I like my I like my Vampire one. Oh, well, this is incredibly epic art, too. This was at 2 before, now I'm saying it's 3. Let's get the witch can upgrade. No, I want to upgrade that variant. I want to upgrade that variant. That's why they're not upgrading. This is the same. Um... Wait, I can filter to upgrade. I just remembered. I added this. Yeah. 
Oh, that's why. I was like, why did it go down to two? My collection. Did I misplay? I did not misplay. That's because Jubilee, um, for how I'm playing. Um, they're really, you can't really misplay. Um, it's all arbitrary upgrade anyway. It always gives you a reward. But I'm just trying to max out my, my custom art, so I'm not upgrading the base art. That's basically all it is. I, and I thought I accidentally upgraded the base art of the third person. I didn't. Because this is so gray. I just, you, I just upgraded Jubilee, so then that person couldn't upgrade, so it goes down to two. Yeah, this game can be quite complex, but that's literally what happened from last video. In case you guys were wondering. Win location with only one card. Ah, that's why he didn't want to play. I wondered if that wasn't in play. That's why he didn't want to play into that zone to the right. And then he's like, dang it, they played into it. Now I got to. Yeah, that's what he was doing. Play five cost cards. Win location with ten or less power. Ooh. Play 200 cards worth. So basically, I just continue my trickery of Professor X. Basically. Let's say plus one power. Just one plus one power? No, thank you. Wait, do I want to play that so I can... No, we'll just see. I can go hard middle tail. But yeah, I gotta play somewhat different to get the one card victory. Oh god, Raptors. Always lucky. I have Giganto. I feel like playing Xander is silly because Giganto might be able to get the one card victory. Oh, Zabu. Oh no, give me Gambit to kill him. That's gonna be a one in three. Give me Gambit, please. Ah, oh, dang it, I think I can't have it. I have no turn three play. Ongoing. Oh, Ro could have stole this power too. Ro could also counter. Dang, Zabu wrecks me and I still, I kind of have a Zabu counter deck. At least on turn three. Dang. Ro could have also countered. I have no play. It's then turn. God, now we have Sentinel. Wow, this is the first time I've seen Sentinel for real. You can't play this at the right location. On reveal, add minus... 8 power void to the right location. Oh, look at that. Void. And now he's gonna hit me with, um... Oh, Gambit. Wow, God. Killing him is like a frickin' 1 in... 5! Dang, that seems unlikely. That seems very unlikely to happen. Just playing to here, I guess, but he's gonna do something to trick me. Oh, he's Colleen Wing. She destroyed Cerebro. Well, he's got an uh, interesting ongoing deck. Oh my gosh, I just got a top goblin. I just got a top goblin. He's probably gonna hobgoblin me here. Yeah, he's probably gonna. Hello again. No, he shouldn't move with that. I'm already winning there, but I feel like it should be... Oh, oh my goodness, I can hobgoblin him right here. That's real so. Yeah, I figured he'd hobgoblin right there. I was expecting. Hobgoblin here completely fricks him, though. Oh, dang, why did these get cheaper? Oh, that was just the final... Oh, dang it! That's what tricked him. Oh no, I don't want to snap. He might not get the one card victory here. Darkhawk, what does he do? This was a very cool deck he had. Victory. That was a very cool deck he had. I got lucky I got lucky with the MS Steel. Armfield, discard the lowest cost card from your hand. I did get Gambit and Rogue at the end to counter him with further, but I didn't need to. Holy crit, I actually beat a Zabu deck. I can't believe I ac actually beat a Zabu deck. I don't think he really got the cards he wanted. Yeah, because he probably wanted Electro early. Why is Electro in a Zabu deck? That's a little weird. But maybe he has ways to, to destroy him or remove him. Yes, Giganto got the one card victory. Now we just need... Wait, I... Dude, I think I then got a less than 10 in the middle, didn't I? I did! Wham! Bam! Epic! Epic, epic. Wait, discard cards? Oh, I'm supposed to play Gambit. Luckily, I have Gambit. 
So yeah, so I might want to be a little kooky with Gambit now. Now that I just need a win with ten or less to do that. Let's play a little riskier. Wait, what did that say? Your mom said this is my last game. Oh, mom said. <laughs> no, I turned that into a your mom joke, but it wasn't. <laughs> oh no, no cards have revealed this turn. Dang it! Oh my goodness, it just... Ooh! Right on that side. hurt him way more than me! Technically, Rogue is my expendable. Ooh, what does Psylocke gain me, though, right now? Nothing, I say. I think I saved Psylocke. I think I saved Psylocke and he was dumb now. Also, this could turn into a thing that lets Psylocke trigger twice. Which is not gonna happen otherwise. Ooh, Digi Carnage, and he's got the cool freaking hood picture. Ooh, first to fail, yes. Love these. The Wrath has been saving me ever since this game has been released to PC. Oh, unfortunately, I didn't have Professor X. Oh, Professor X would have been perfect for right here. I'm just going to put down White Queen. It's a little unnecessary, but it's beatable. Like, I could lose if I get a bad six cost doing this, but I don't care. I just gonna clear out a good card from my hand. Oh yes, Orca! My, I actually have this card. I do actually have Orca. Ongoing plus five power. If this is your only card here. Oh my goodness! I just get destroyed. But didn't he kill everything? He kills everything. Now, if plus five power. If this is your only card here. He's just armored where Carnage is. That's very bizarre. So that makes it sound like he's not gonna venom there. Um. Oh my, wait, 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 wait. That means Destroyer won't kill anyone in here. Do I play Orca now? No, I can play Orca the same turn I destroy. Let's just see how this goes. This may go horrible for me. Oh, Warpath. Oh, that's good. That means he's not going to play the Wrath, probably. Ah, oh, it's Gigando! That was great use of, of freaking work. I just went right into Giganto. Now the question is, he could still beat me with the raft. Does that win him the game? It would. I can actually just go Magneto this. I do not need to use Destroyer. I'm actually not going to use him. Destroyer. It's not bad. I think this is a new player. I'm not, not sure how we ever thought he could win with Destroyer there. But okay. Sometimes I'll just do that out of anger. He probably... He was probably looking for a way to remove the on-reveal effect of Destroyer. It is possible. It's insanely great. Or he was hoping I... Or, or he was hoping that I would play my Destroyer and lose. But that may have just been a raw test from that guy. We're, I'm only an Iron Lake. This is very newbie. We'll get out of it shortly. Yeah, I just put down so much power I couldn't. Dude, that was so cool. Orca, dude. I gotta show off Orca. He's such. He's one of the most ridiculous cards. Wait, what is this? What did I have the sword it has? Power, please. Um, yeah, here's my Orca. He's freaking awesome. But yeah, ongoing plus five power if this is your only card here. So yeah, other stuff like I believe onslaught. Double your ongoing effects at this location. Yeah, onslaught can just make him super powerful. He's from um the moor. He's from the same place as the moor. Where's the moor at? What do I do with my cost? Energy. That's what they call it. Energy in this game. Well, they call it energy and cost, actually. It's slightly confusing. I believe Namor is a four. Yeah, here he is, Namor. Yeah, he's from the same place as him. They're, they're X-Genes. They're not X-Men, but they're X-Genes. 
complete seven, complete all seven chapter one missions, huh? Huh? Why don't I see that? Is it a glitch? Is it saying what's about to happen? Oh no, I think it's showing this. Yeah, it's showing this in a different form there in that screen. That's new. Anyway, uh, I'm sure we're ready to keep going. Yeah, we are. Just gotta remember the win with 10 less, so I'll try to get a Professor X lock and win. Or little guys and use um, someone's own hobgoblin against them. <laughs> yeah, they forgot what Emma did, but they may have thought I didn't get her. Get him, but I bet they, they underestimate Emma Frost, man. I like this game, I was just seeing how strong Orca and Onslaught could be, theoretically. And this is what, and this is the zone they would have no power in. This is just how it works. Although I could play into that, I like playing into that. No, and I'm a key man. It also works for the less than tanks, they don't need the one card. Oh, my scrappers again. I have the Where Savage Land background, I really should expect this. Ooh, I do, I have Jubilee in my hand, so playing Psylocke is the proper play here. Ooh, he's got Cable, that's awesome. He just stole one of my cards. But that may technically make my Jubilee play here stronger. Ooh, or I can go into White Queen! I play Jubilee on four! Ongoing effects are disabled here, so uh, she's on reveal. I think I want to play Jubilee. I mean, play White Queen here and work the odds a little better for Jubilee next turn in case I do not get Professor X. Oh, wow, I didn't get any of my high cost either. Jubilee actually has a high chance of bringing down Professor X now. It looks like it's the best play. I'm just doing it. This may backfire. This may make him win the zone. It probably will, but... It could be magic. Oh, it's Gambit! Perfect! That's good for the daily! Nice! That was awesome. Ooh, Rock Slide! Luckily, I already played Jubilee. I already have my good cards. And here's Professor X. For the left, just like I wanted. I could do middle as well. I feel like he's gonna play- Oh no, actually, whoops! Professor X doesn't work on left because of this. He must be middle. It's risky, but I'm doing it. He doesn't win here. At least it worked. It freaking worked. Oh, there that is! Oh, I- Okay, so the rock did delay me from getting rogue to counter here, but I can just throw down Giganto. That's like, unbeatable. Is there any reason not I can just snap? Even if your trees today, they should complete at this point. Yeah, that doesn't matter. This makes me stronger. We've already won that zone. Yeah, they didn't think that through with Magdino, but I mean, that could have still been their best play. Well done. Rock Slide was a good play. That was a good play. Ooh, here's Domino's upgrade. Nice. Shiny logo. Quality increase. The legendary. Come on, extreme thing. Come on, extreme thing. Oh, collector shard. That's season two. I believe I just need one more of those, and I can actually pull a three. Cost so I can wait for Dagger or one of the other mutants to go in there. I really might wait, just of how little I play this. I might wait till Kitty Pride actually enters there. Kitty Pride is not even in fifth yet. That'd probably be months I'd have to wait, though. But I might just do that, because I'm like, I don't know how much I'm going to play this game after this season. Like, it has, it has serious balance issues. They're fixing it, though, slowly, like cards like this. Yeah, see, I can't even get her without, like, it's not a true fix, though. Oh, wait, I actually need two more? I only have 800? Oh, shoot. Well, whatever, let's keep going. I'm just gonna play cards now. Yeah, I'm just gonna play cards now. Play a game in a game or two more. So, yeah, I just want to use, um, magic now to increase the turns so I can put out more power on the field. It'll be most time efficient. Turn six cards can't be played here. Ooh, I don't like that. That's oh my goodness, that's terrible. I need magic to remove that. 
I need magic to remove that. I'm going to play it cool and not play into it. He's definitely playing into it. I need magic to remove that. I'm going to play into the end. No! Right on time. Six card. Wait, six cost cards cost one less. That was huge. That was actually really huge. Um, do I want to play? I think I can play Psylocke and just play the odds. Oh good, I tricked him. He's trying to play Star-Lord. Yeah, I tricked him. We give all cards here. A bonus, that sounds good. If I don't get ma if I don't get freaking magic, I'm gonna Professor X this zone. Although that'd be two turns away, actually. That's right, because Psylocke was giving me the boost. Always oh, flying into it. Oh dang! What an incredible and freaking play by Electra. That was phenomenal. Do I really care now? No, this is actually a better lead. I'm gonna play this lead then. Dang, I did not get my six cost though. This could be very bad. But maybe I can take his one now. Oh, he has Venom. Wait, that's his highest cost is Venom? Yeah, he's gonna carnage into Venom, typical. Typical play style. If I could... Wait, who's going first? He's going first. Dang it, I think his Venom will eat first. Cards can't be played here. Dang it, I didn't get magic. Magic will be unplayable turn frickin' wow. Magic will become unplayable. I am pretty fricked here. Yeah, I don't have any strong power 5 cost. I guess I just play Gambit for the daily. I feel like... I feel like doing this is still the best play. Just to guarantee the zone is won, but I don't know if I can win this. I think he's already forfeited this zone. All oh wait, no, go. he just did a way too early... He did a too early Ultron! I say he did a too early Ultron, but is it really? I don't know if there's a way for me to win this, actually, but... So that Carnage has so much power, but I think I just play Gambit into Venom. Because, yeah, it's still blocked, so I can't play Giganto, oh, which could have tied, which would have given me... No, I still would have lost. I think he won this, but you never know. Gambit could actually kill um, Carnage here and win the game. Which he just did. <laughs> nice. And that one extra power from Venom won it. Wow, he used his own Venom against him to win. That was so insanely rare. Wow, that was super lucky. That just did... Oh my goodness, praise God. That was a 1 in 11 chance that just happened there, technically. What Gambit just did. Well, that's why you never know. Just play Gambit. <laughs> wow. Let's go again. I didn't get magic there, but I still found a way to get a win, barely. That was all on. That was purely a blessing. I wouldn't even say if that was luck, per se, because those were, like the odds of what just happened there was nigh impossible. Okay. Ooh, GG. Thumbs up for that. If you play her to add a... lucky. Wait, when after you play a card here, add a copy to another location, frickin' I fill it with Quicksilver. It's not great. Ooh, I could gambit the frick out of him, though. Gambit at the end. Sounds pretty good to me. And he knows that's a problem, so he armored. That was frickin' brilliant. 
Which is double armor. Dang it, he knows I have Gambit. We may have played before. He looks familiar. Only one card from each person can be here. Okay, that tied. Well, Gambit is definitely not, not going to play here, so I'd lose two mana, but it's fine to do any move at all. I often have no turn three move, so this is fine. I still may have been dumb to do what I did there, but... Dang, maybe doing Iceman was dumb. It may have been. Because now turn five won't be able to duplicate stuff, but we'll see, because this may go really good with Jubilee. Wait, no, Jubilee's going to fill it. Oh, dang, I don't know if I'm playing this well. Yeah, I shouldn't have played Iceman. Oh, well, I'm rusty. I'm a bit rusty at this game. Yeah, I don't think Iceman should have been played there. That was actually a misplay. She's still Punisher's power. I don't know how that helps me, but okay. I have to skip this turn now. That is brutal. I forgot how much it changes with just the one card here. I can't even play this turn. It's just guaranteed loss. That's brutal. Oh, luckily he did a weak play, though. I'm still in it. He did a very weak play. That may have just given me the win. Wait, also Blue Marvel. Ongoing. Your other cards here. Well, but he's not going to be buffed because of the zone. Opponent snapped. Yeah, oh, because of his Blue Marvel buffs. Oh, because of Mr. Fantastic, too. Yeah, I think he won this. Wait, can I play? No, I can't play Magic. Wait, do I play Gambit just because? Just in case? Well, no, there's still a minor chance of victory. He has, like, a one cost or something that's all he has, but... It basically didn't exist. I probably should have played Gambit, but... The other Gambit actually doing anything is... Whoa. Because, yeah, all, all these cards can't be destroyed by Gambit. All of these. So, I would know that was smart because the Daylam supposed to play cards with power. That was the proper play. They should have Punisher's power, but he didn't play there. How does she steal Punisher's power? This game is so bizarre, dude. She should be stealing on reveal effects, probably, not um ongoing. Yeah, that got the daily down by playing Giganto. Sweet. Glad I did that. That's why I just always try to put in my best performance. This is super cool. This is so tempting, but. Like having the Bishop Avatar would be so cool. I'd rather have my top three are Gambit oh Gambit and Rogue, which those were money only. I'm waiting for a gold one. I want to spend actual money. Plus I like the original art more than the Gambit and Rogue art. But it kinda hurt to not get that, but I'm like, eh, this game's not good enough. Um, it's improving now. But I'm just gonna say, because like I want a freaking Emma Frost one too. And then who knows when Jean Grey is get like they're gonna add Jean Grey as the Phoenix at some point. I'm shocked she's still not in this game. I don't know if there's some political thing with her that they don't like her anymore. She's like the second or third most popular, if not the most popular X-Men. Yeah, Jean Grey slash um Miss Um Marvel Girl slash um, I believe that was her name. Her name also may have been Miss Marvel. A mutant name. But it's really known as Phoenix. But that freaking bishop is so cool, that picture. But I really like Forge, too, so I have no reason to actually spend for that. And Forge is cool as heck. See, I don't run him in the deck, so I think that's my picture's cool. Although he is like a generic avatar one. I've got another one. Brood is x been related, but it's kind of screwed up. It's like actually really dark, that storytelling. Um, I have Goose, which is freaking awesome, but... And then um, Colossus is cool, but I believe he's another default. But yeah, I just haven't gotten a whole lot of these in the... Um, and oh, I got Doc Ock too, which is amazing. It's one of the best cards in the game. Um, and the Sandman is just so meme great. They actually buffed him, made him better. Um, actually, I want to look at Sandman actually. Although this video is going a little long now. Yeah, we, we broke half an hour. So I'm going to end it real quick. Let's just look at. Wait, isn't Sandman a three cost? Is he not? I guess he's not. Or I'm just completely missing him. Wait, do I not have Sandman? I thought I did. actually not have Sandman? Hey, I wish I could remove these dupes. Is there a way? I don't know if there's a way. There used to be a way, but they changed this interface. I don't think there's a way now.
five four dominoes now incredible oh I do not have Sandman oh no here he is oh he's five oh wow they made him much stronger he's a five now he's five for five ongoing players can only play one card at a time very interesting build. He's, he also might be a good way to counter um, some of those Zabu decks. That'd probably be too too little too late though, but maybe. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I think it's like Jubilee did amazing. Yeah, Jubilee did really amazing today. Although I just called out Jubilee yesterday, I think, so who really who was giving me this stuff was Psylocke. The unsung hero is it does not want to level up. She hasn't even gone rainbow yet. She's getting there. She's close. But yeah, Infinity is when they go right. You can choose to make them look rainbow. Which I do. Which I put those ones in the deck. I also want to save my gold for, like, a custom. Like, I know they're super cool Psylocke's. Um... But this look is just so Olivia Munn epic. Like, she did so great in that movie. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope like hope you liked what you saw. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more content like this. And as always, even if you don't, don't do any of that stuff, may your tail eternally be retold. X-Gene, mutant strong. X-People, forever. Always my favorite lore of Marvel.